Oklahoma suffering through a horrible tragedy last night with a devastating tornado killing 51 people, including 20 children. Uh, in, in our ongoing coverage of this, uh, we're joined, uh, we're still joined by Eric Holthouse, our uh, in-house meteorologist. Eric, thanks again. Um, just to, uh, give us some details, if you can, on the science of this. You know, what forms these tornadoes? What are the weather conditions that create them? Well, uh, in springtime in the Midwest, uh, there's a collision of air masses. You have dry air coming from the west, and you have uh, warmer, moist air coming uh, from the south, from the Gulf Coast. So if you, if you can get um, a, kind of a, a jump start mechanism, which in this case is a, a low pressure center that moves through, um, when, when that air starts to uh, interact, it starts to, to rotate, and in the presence of an unstable atmosphere, uh, so that means, you know, the heating of the day, uh, sometimes it gets up to, you know, 85, 90 degrees in, in, in early May that time uh, in, in this part of the country. Um, warm air rises and that rising column of rotating air um, turns into a, a massive um, thunderstorm, which sometimes um, the intense ones can produce a tornado. Uh, I believe last week's storms stretched all the way up to Minnesota. Is that unusual for this time of the year? Not, not at all. Um, you know, sometimes these storms stretch a, a thousand miles of uh, in, interlinked storms. Um, in, even today, today is kind of the fourth day of this multi-day outbreak. So uh, the threat has shifted down to southern Oklahoma and uh, northeast Texas today. Um, but, you know, there's been tornadoes across multiple states over the last three days. So I think 50 over the weekend and another 15 or, or 20 yesterday. Now, in, in the wake of Hurricane Sandy and, and a whole range of other, you know, devastating tragedies in, in recent years, obviously people are, are wondering whether or not this is a function of, of climate change. Um, it seems from the conversation today that this is just dumb luck, that in fact we aren't necessarily experiencing more than normal. But is there, a, you know, a, a climactic element to this? Well, I, I, when, when you change the composition of the atmosphere, it, it's going to change um, pretty much every weather event in ways that we don't really understand too well right now. So um, as far as tornadoes, tornadoes are such a localized, intense event that um, there are many, many facets have to come into place to, to, to produce a tornado. So there's evidence that uh, this, the atmosphere is getting more moist, holding more water vapor. So that provides extra energy to storms like this. Um, there's also evidence that um, the wind shear, so the decreasing or changing uh, wind direction and wind speed as you, in, as, as you uh, move up in the atmosphere, uh, that's projected to weaken with climate change. So um, it, it's really unclear at this point um, which of those forces will win out, but um, and just as, like you said, as, as you saw with Hurricane Sandy, as you saw with um, the floods and the drought, um, more extreme events uh, seem to be occurring and, and that's partly due to a, our changing atmosphere. Now, um, what, what are forecasters saying about any risks that may be out there for the rest of the country? We've seen tornadoes as far as New York in uh, recent years. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, with climate change, uh, I think tornadoes are expected to shift a little bit further north. So. Uh, a little bit further north and uh, and east, so um, so there could be you know an increase in threat in New England in New York City area, um, and these are this is cutting edge research re research right now. I went to the um, American Meteorological Society annual meeting uh, to discuss Hurricane Sandy uh, in in January, and there were a lot of presentations on this exact point of. Um, how how can we expect tornadoes to change uh, in a changing climate? So this, believe me, this is uh, you know this is research that is go on ongoing right now. That's it's disturbing stuff, Eric. Thank you very much for your time.